Whether you're a full-time videographer or just doing it for a bit of cash on the side, it's super important that you price yourself correctly. A lot of people in this industry are miles apart from each other with the amount that they charge and of course the pricing structure that they choose to use. Firstly, let's talk about context. You need to ask yourself what your most regular client would look like if you had to smash them all together to find the average in terms of size, budget and spending power. If you work a lot of individuals or self-employed startup business owners, then realistically, you wouldn't be able to charge them as much as you could charge someone like a big conglomerate that has 200,000 employees and a marketing spend of six million pounds, for example, for the year. So it's really important to understand who you work for on a regular basis and then build your pricing structure around that from there. If your bread and butter work comes from larger companies that do have quite a considerable turnover per year, then you should be pricing yourself to suit the budgets of whoever you find yourself working with the most. So for context as to the sort of clients I work with mostly before we get onto my rates, I work with small to medium sized companies that have turnovers of anywhere between 3 million to 350 million pounds a year. Keep this in mind when we speak about the rates I'm currently charging my clients. But before that, let me touch up on the two most common pricing strategies that I've seen freelancers use over the last couple of years. If you're a freelancer, then pricing your services is normally done either by a day rate or an hourly rate. And when I first started out around four years ago, I priced myself on an hourly rate of around 60 to 70 pounds per hour for on-site shooting time, and then around 40 to 50 pounds per hour for editing time. Bear in mind that these were the rates I was charging as an inexperienced novice, just getting my footing into this world. And that worked fine for the first year or so, but then I found that my clients were booking me for less time than the shoot actually required, and then were getting confused or upset when I charged them more than they originally thought I would. And this made things a little annoying, plus there were times where a shoot would be three hours and 35 minutes, for example, so that extra half hour became a little bit of a gray area. So I decided to completely abolish hourly rates and focus entirely on charging by the day. This transition happened around a year and a half after I started the business and ever since I've done this, things have become so much more simple and actually quite a lot more profitable. Therefore, as a rule of thumb, I'd say to steer away from charging by the hour since it's generally not worth your time and in my opinion, it's more of a novice way of doing things. But it's totally understandable because when you're employed, chances are that you're paid by the hour so it feels like the most normal structure to abide to at the start. Okay, so moving on to day rates and this is sort of where things got exciting for me. So to start off with, my first set of day rates were as follows. It was £300 for the half day, and that was for four hours of my time, and then £500 for a full day, and that was eight hours of my time. In my opinion, it's always better to price your half day a little bit more than half of what your full day would be, because then that gives the client the incentive to book a full day instead of the half day. And then of course, if they do choose the half day, but it overruns or they need more time, they'll end up either paying for the full day anyway, or rebooking another half day, which in turn will work out more expensive for them in the long run. This is not unethical, it's just business. And ultimately your time is money, and the more time you have to spend on a particular project over a number of days, that means you can't book in anything else on the days that you're working on that particular project. And just to clarify, if a client books in a half day, which is four hours of your time, but the shoot ends up being five hours, then it automatically should become a full day. Do not sell yourself short on this because clients will begin to notice that you're lenient with your time and will start booking you at your half day rate and then start taking the piss with your time. So this is the pay structure I used for about a year or so and I decided to increase them again as I gained more experience and the clients got larger. This is definitely something you have to constantly stay in tune with as your business progresses because if you stay on the same rates for too long, you're essentially bottlenecking your own growth and your own earning potential. I definitely think a freelancer's rate should increase every year that like they have been in the industry to coincide with the extra experience they've acquired, as well as the rate of inflation in whatever country you're living in. Life keeps getting more expensive each and every year you're alive, so you can either adjust your prices accordingly or just get swallowed up by it. The initial day rates that I charged when switching to that pricing strategy did go up to £350 for the half day and £600 for the full day after a year or so, but then in the next couple of months following that change, my clients started to get bigger and more frequent. I'd say it was around the start of 2021 when things began to gain momentum and of course, as your clients get bigger, so should the numbers on your invoices. I know this might sound a bit direct to some of you, but as I said earlier, it's just business and as your time becomes valued more and more, you should be charging more for it. Higher pricing also alludes to higher quality as well, just like how you'd expect a £100 pair of trainers to last way longer than a £30 pair would. So this is where the next big change happened for me in the way that I price my business's services. After this, I decided to lower the amount of time that was included in my day rates. So the half day went from four hours to three hours and the full day went from eight to six hours. 
The prices also went to £500 for the half day and £800 for the full day. So if we take the current day rate of £800 and divide that by six, which is the amount of hours included, that gives an hourly rate of £133.33. So therefore, in four years, my hourly rate has more than doubled, and that's down to experience, a change in my pricing structure, and of course, the gradual progression of the type of clients that I'm working with. Of course, it's up to you to decide how much your time should be worth based on the work that you're doing and the amount of experience you have, but please don't say yourself short because it will only make you look more novice and it could negatively impact the community of freelancers in your area if you're undercutting everyone else and forcing their rates down too. If you find this topic interesting, then please let me know because there's a lot of things that I haven't actually touched upon, such as charging for travel time, travel expenses, as well as the world of retainer fees and the bigger picture of building a creative agency. So if you'd like to hear more about that, then let me know and I'll make make more videos like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat useful, entertaining or interesting. And if you did, then please subscribe to the channel because I do make a lot of videos here surrounding uh, freelance videography and all that sort of stuff. So if you're into that, then this channel will be for you. And yeah, thanks again for watching and hopefully I shall see you in the next one.